Hello everyone. My name is Xu Dexiang, and、uh, you can call me Kevin. I'm a Grade Eleven student, and now I'm studying in the Guiyang Number、no. One High School. For me, I'm interested in science and doing report. So today, I would like to talk about the my topic: food demand. As the development of the society and population increases sharply, the hunger is becoming a serious issue around the world. So there are some available solutions I give you, and the one will be applied in the future. I think first solution is the vertical farming. Vertical farming is the way to produce food in the vertical layers and inclined surfaces.、Uh, farming on the land is important. Vertical farming as well. So, growing things in buildings not only produce food for the inhabitant; they can live well. This is a kind of win-win because、uh, it can be urban balconies. Uh, or more formally through urban planning. The last one is the warehouse farming. Hydroponics can be happening sometimes, but warehouse can also be beneficial for the food supply. For example, the SKY8 shrimp farm, which raises the sustainable shrimp in the warehouse, they pump in the Atlantic seawater, uh, so that they can raise the shrimp. In the large tanks and be ready for the wholesalers in the economy. The last part I would like to do is to examine the solution I recommend to overcome the worldwide hunger. I think improving the food production is the key. So the most efficient way to improve food production, I think vertical farming is the best choice. The reason why I choose it is because I think it has more prospects than any other solutions. So it has many advantages and disadvantages. For advantages, first one is the food production is increased. It because in one frame it has many layers, so that the production per unit area is increased too. The next one is it is more diverse. Different kinds of crops have their own different preference temperature. So vertical means that we can put things from a high position to low position, so that we can、uh, put different kinds of crops in different position depends on their temperature. For disadvantages, I think first one is the solar energy. We all know that the sense of plantation is to need solar energy, but but the、uh, light per unit area is limited, which means one side may be、uh, is more directly、uh, exposed to the sun, but the other side can't. The next one is the cost. For example, the artificial light. The building cost and stuff like that; those are expensive. The last one is, food crops will be damaged because of the climate change. So that's all about the report. I hope you will like it. Thank you for watching.